Today I'm be showing you a hidden boss fight. This location has not one, but two boss fights, one of which is hidden behind a hidden wall. It also has between the rewards from the bosses and chests, because there's over 10 chests in this location, there is somewhere between like two to four rare weapons, um, a couple plus armor pieces that were pretty decent, I think. Nothing crazy good, but uh, good. I lost footage on my capture card. I didn't realize it stopped recording. I guess it overheated for a second or something. I'm not sure. But um, I already beat the bosses. So I'm just going to show you all the locations for the hidden walls and how to access the hidden boss fight. Now it might get dark uh, for a second here or there because this game um, on the darkest areas doesn't record that well that's why I have the torch out but I can't really kill that well with the torch so occasionally I am going to have to switch to, switch to my weapon just double checking every corner to make sure don't miss one for you right here is a hidden wall behind these uh, dudes And as you can see in here, there are four chests. Just gonna do that real quick. There's four chests in there. No, I wanna switch weapons. Thank you. Alright, that's it. Hold on. So right here behind the skeleton is another hidden wall. And over here is another hidden wall. And got another two chests over here. Okay, so the main boss fight is going down this way. Here is the hidden path. There's a hidden path here. Uh, one wall you gotta break right there. Two more chests over here. And then there's another hidden wall right there. And here is the second boss fight. The secret boss fight is the Necromancer. It does a lot of dark magic and the main boss fight is an invisible dude but you can see his foots in the puddles he's highly aggressive so if you have any special like uh, this one here if you can get him in a spot where he keeps coming at you you can just really lay into him and uh, that is the secret boss fight location hold on I forgot to sh actually show you it on the map <laughs> let me do that so this location is called Sage's Cave. Cave. Here are some surrounding locations. We have the Entry, Gazing Hill, Old Atlas Tunnel, Gelmore Hero's Grave. Um, another great one to hit for two full armor sets after um, you get like your level up. There's a very hard enemy to get it. 
So like minimum like level 50, probably even like 75 would be better. Um, but you could probably do it with a 50 build if you're really lucky. Um, and we have like the abandoned coffin right there. So that is the surrounding areas for the Sage's Cave. And um, yeah, that's everything. I hope that helps.